project for today starts off with a piece of quarter inch thick aluminum stock in the Tormach. What we're making here is an um, air filter base and cap to mount to a Weber DCOE. The reason I'm making one instead of buying one is because I couldn't find the filter for that particular carburetor that was shallow enough to fit where I needed to go. So I had to buy a filter for a, I think it was a, a DGV series, which was an, only an inch and three quarters thick. And I've only got two inches of clearance. So the part here to the left is the base. It's got all the mounting holes already popped into it and now I'm just radiusing over the edges of the bore holes help that air move a little better Then this part here to the right is uh, the lid, I guess I'll call it. And I could have left it just plain, but I figured it was already in the machine and the tool was loaded. Might as well put a little decorative element to it. It's completely unnecessary, but why not? So I cut those two pieces apart and mounted the bottom to a, a simple fixture plate I made. And here you can see we're cutting a recess for the air filter itself and also the perimeter, just roughing it out. So since the air filter is an inch and three quarters and I only had two inch, I gotta get that material where the air filter sits to be just under an eighth inch so that it'll all fit together. That also gives a place for the air filter to locate into. So obviously that's the filter and then the top perimeter was cut out the same way. So let's go ahead and get it mounted. Didn't take long to realize that these studs coming out were a little too short, so I actually had to recess those mounting holes. Just did that off camera. And even though I measured it all <laughs> and on paper and by math it fit, boy, it sure was a tight squeeze in there. Very difficult to get into. So one thing I didn't think about is with these studs, uh, you can keep tightening it until you crush the air filter. So if I had thought about it, I'd have put some nuts on the back side so you can only tighten so far. And here you can see that clearance, there's there's basically none. So after all that, I decided I I don't really like this filter. It's it's just too close to everything else. It uh, it looks good and it'll work. I've got another thing that I probably put a similar carburetor on and I can just use this again. But I think I'm gonna make another um, filter with the uh, Maybe some cone filters off to the right or something. I don't know. This this would be useful somewhere, just not here. So if I ever get that other one made, I'll shoot a video of it too. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.